students at a Cole Central School have quite the task ahead of them after the Northern Environmental Action Team met with the Parent Advisory Council about a food sustainability program. They came and sat with us and kind of pitched it to us as a pilot project and asked us for our support and we said yes and the school said they would chip in and then we eventually got another grant. So yeah, we decided to go for it. The project requires students to grow two garden plants of their choice, one for home and one at the school. Last weekend, RBC helped construct the garden beds for the plants. Only one classroom won't be part of the project, but for the other 330 students, they'll soon discover what it takes to be a gardener. They have planted the seedlings, so they've had them in their class, they've watered them, then they will have been participating in the hardening off process, so bringing them in and out so that they don't get shocked, then they will transplant them. Then they will take care of them for the rest of the summer. Each student gets their choice of what to grow, such as carrots, beets, maybe a few tomatoes, but the primary reason is to teach kids the importance of long-term sustainability. Maybe not necessarily that we want every house to have a garden or every school to have a garden, although that would be quite fantastic, but it's just by knowing what goes into creating your food that you have a full appreciation for all of the inputs for it. I think it's important to teach kids about where their food comes from and teach them about sustainability and composting and that they can basically grow their own food if they want to or need to. So I think it's awesome. And of course, after the summer wraps up, all the plants will be harvested and dinner will be served. In September there hopefully will be things like carrots and beets and kale and maybe some tomatoes and things like that. So, But I mean, I think the kids will just be excited to eat anything that they've grown. Mitch Bach, CJDC-TV News, Fort St. John.